Aries, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are awesome. All right, so Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your weekly love reading. If you haven't already, make sure you guys check out your entire month of September reading. The monthlies are a little more detailed. They're separated by couples and singles, so check those out as well. With these weeklies here, at the end, I answer a yes or no question for you guys. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right, here we go. Aries, in love, what's up? The Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Lots of Earth, y'all. Okay, here we go. So you guys are coming in this week in this Seven of Cups energy. This is feeling really confused. If you're single, you probably have a lot of options. Uh, but it's it's having a real lack of clarity. It's it's fantasizing. It's dreaming, um, but just not really sure. You know what you're supposed to do. You don't really have clarity on what exactly it is that you're supposed to be doing with a particular situation. Let's see why we have the Seven of Cups here. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Aries? King of Wands reverse because you're out of your power, guys. King of did I say King of Cups? Maybe I did. I don't know. King of Wands reverse, which is your energy anyway. But when it's reversed, it's you not being in your power. It's not you. It's you being not your whole self, right? For whatever reason, something's taking you out of your power. Um, you know, it's feeling really insecure, really um, unmotivated, lacking energy, lacking confidence, which is causing this confusion, this lack of clarity. It's like you don't trust yourself to be able to go after what it is that you want or, you know, to even know what that is. And the King of Pentacles reversed. You could be dealing with two different people here or dealing with someone that is dealing with two different people. Um, this is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and this is a really, you know, non-committal, not grounded, type of energy um, you could be dealing with somebody that's kind of selfish either way you recent past is the three of pentacles so this is an energy of working together with someone else you know um building together it's teamwork with it being a three and you've got two different kings here could have been a third party situation in the recent past we're gonna move on though because i don't like to dwell on the past right anyway um your present, you've got the Nine of Swords, anxiety, depression, stressed the fuck out. And it happens like when you, you know, when you're in that position, that fucking stress, you're not going to have any clarity. How are you going to make a, a logical decision? How are you going to know what you're supposed to be doing if you're like up all night, stressed out? You're not even going to be able to think straight. So that's kind of what's happening here. And this energy down here can be for the other person too. Might not necessarily be you that's so stressed, but someone here is. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, it's either somebody rejected a commitment here, was like, nope, I'm not, never mind, not doing this. Um, or somebody feels like they missed an opportunity for some type of a commitment here, for some type of a stability. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, do you see this, guys? Um, you've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles both both reversed here. So you're either in a connection that's like way fucking unstable, unstable, not healthy, and it's got you stressed the hell out, or this is breakup energy. It's like somebody revoked <laughs> revoked their uh, offer of commitment here. Um, but in the immediate future, you've got this Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. So. You've either got a new relationship coming in here or you're going to turn this one around. But things are changing either way. Ace of Wands is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so definitely a new beginning. Some kind of a new attraction or spark put back into an existing connection. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's that new offer of commitment. Something new, guys. 
something new. Um, so it's going to be something where it's really super hot. Wands is passion, it's attraction, right? Pentacles is commitment. So it's going to start off feeling like maybe it's just sex based, but it, there is an actual offer of commitment here if you want it. Much more stable than what you've got going on. Angel de la Nuit. She's been coming out in so many readings this week. And this isn't, she's a bonus card in this deck. She's not regular tarot. So Angel of the Night. Um, this is like the bright light in a dark spot. So yeah, you've got this shit. You're probably not eating right, not sleeping right. Just being stressed, right? Um, but once you kind of make the decision, you know, come out of your head, make that decision, be like, you know what? No, I'm not doing this. Never mind, not doing this shit. You start something new here that becomes like a bright light for you, like a bright spot in all this bullshit. Even if it's with the same person, things aren't gonna stay the way that they are. Nine of Pentacles, you might just decide that you need to be single. It's very independent energy. Um, it's kind of energy where, um, you don't have to be single, but you can be. You're good on your own, you know? Um, it can also be that the bright spot in whatever this is, if it's a breakup, it might actually save you money. <laughs> your finances might turn around. All right, your potential obstacle is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, wasting time. It's somebody feels like they're wasting their time here. <coughs> Somebody like isn't willing to put in the work. And the three of pentacles reverse. So you've got that in your past too. But with it being reversed here, somebody doesn't, they're not able to work together with another person anymore. There's no kind of teamwork. Somebody's just fed up. I'm not putting in any more effort into this because they can't work with me here. We don't make a good team. Again, can be third party. All right, um, your advice is a two of pentacles. This is about weighing your options, weighing your options, keeping everything in balance, making sure you don't get overwhelmed. Um, so weigh your options, like literally make like a pros and cons list here. If you're having some trouble deciding what to do, you know, looking for some clarity, whatever sit down and make yourself a list like really weigh out the pros and cons of the situation and the emperor there you go there you go this is your card guys this is you you need to step back into your power switch this freaking king around step back into your power you know take your life back um you might even need to kind of occupy yourself with like work right two of pentacles can mean like two jobs but this is about taking your power back being aggressive being proactive about your love life all right all right let's get your yes or no guys um so i do the yes or no with the with the deck right but i've really been wanting to use my pendulum in the readings actually the first form of divination I've, I ever did as a kid is probably like that with everybody who's into divination um, but I would really like to incorporate it into my readings I miss it I love it so let me know in the comments if you want me to start using the pendulum here at the end for your yes or no I won't do it unless you guys want me to but I would like to so let me know if you'd be down for that okay all right yes or no for my Aries friends That's a yes with the King of Swords. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. I love you guys.